name is Chris Strout with Vibraline. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps utilizing the Fixture Laser SMC or the One Prod Falcon to do single or two plane balancing. The focus of the video is not going to be around the diagnosis of imbalance, but more about how to handle it and utilize the tools at your disposal. Balancing can be a daunting task, but with the tools we have in front of us, it's not so. Imbalance can be affected by quite a few outside influences. Those influences are discussed in detail on our blog at Vibraline.com. Today the focus will be a simple single plane and a two plane balance utilizing the one prod falcon. In front of me I have the one prod falcon, single axis accelerometer, photo tack pickup, and our reflective tape. The first step is to get our free run measurement or our initial reading. We'll turn the fan on, the fan comes to speed, push the acquisition button in the top of the right hand corner of the falcon. Fans at full speed, we'll take the reading. Shut the fan off. We got a reading at 0.143 inches per second at 72.8 degrees. So now we'll attach our trial weight. I'll weigh that out now. So we'll do 4.2 grams and we'll do position six. Two, three, four, five, position six. I'll attach the weight from the back side. Attach the weight. I'll update the trial weight here. Uh, we'll do 4.2. Green check mark. At position six. And check. The next key, we're ready to take our trial weight run. Start the fan. Fan comes to full speed, we'll press acquisition. So again, looking for that 30% change in phase or amplitude, plus or minus. Reading's done. Stop. So 0 0.061 inch per second at a phase of 76.3. That is a good change. We will advance to the next, and it tells us 7.26 grams at position six. With the Falcon, we always remove the trial weight. And I am looking for a weight of, or close to 7.26 grams. So I've got 7.3, which will work. And I will add that to position six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go to the next key one more time. I'm going to update my actual correction to 7.3. Green check mark. We'll actually add it directly to position six. Check mark. Advance. And we're ready for our first corrective run. Fan come to full speed with the acquisition button. Stop the fan. So now we're calling for one gram at position 4.5. Now 4.57 being the between two different holes, we're going to utilize our equivalent weight feature on the right hand side of the screen. The equivalent weight feature allows us to combine two holes or two blades or to split them. In this case, I want to split them. So I'll select the split tab at the top. And what the correction is telling me is for a perfect correction, at blade four, I would put 0.451, and at blade five, I would put 0.584 grams. And there's 0.5 and a 0.5. I will install those weights as it says here in position four and five. So there's four, and then we'll add the other one at position five. Put that in. So on the Falcon, you can either correct the location for the split or correct the actual weight. So the installed weight was 0.5 and 0.5. I'm going to apply that split, advance, start the fan again.
acquisition when it comes to full speed. 0 0.012 inches per second. Put the fan off. And had we smaller weights, we can continue the process to a ridiculously refined balance tolerance. At this point, we'd say we were complete. If we were in the field, we'd absolutely be complete. And that is most of the steps for a single plane balance. The simplicity of the single plane balance job carries over the two plane balance job with a couple more steps, but nothing very detailed. The key differences for the two plane balance job are this, and I'll walk you through the setup and the differences to look for. We've saved another balance job, and the number of planes will select two. In our angle units, we just have an additional plane to work with. We'll update both to the number of holes or blades where the correction weights will go. The screen difference is because you have a second plane noted now. The acquisition functions the same way. With a two plane balance, you'll show two planes to work in, hit next, and it, again, it's just an additional box for information. You'll attach your, update your trial weight information exactly like you did in the previous screens, but only doing one plane at a time. Add the correction for the trial weight, advance, you'll take your reading again, Fan comes to full speed. When the fan stops, you remove the trial weight from plane one and attach the same trial weight to plane two. You'll advance the Falcon Leave plane one or the yellow plane is zero. Update plane two's weight information with your, with your same trial weight. Again, remove the trial weight from plane A, attach to plane B. Advance. You'll make a second trial weight run on plane two. Advance, remove the trial weight for your first run, advance, and there's your suggested corrections. With the exception of that, there's no difference from the single plane balance job. You'll continue updating the correction weights as advised by the Falcon, and the exporting process is also identical. So as you can see with the balancing function built into the Falcon, the same as the Fixture Laser SMC, it's really, really simple. I want to thank you all for joining us this afternoon. If you'd like more information about the SMC, the Falcon, or balancing in general, visit Viberline.com, go to the store or the blog.